Trinity PID. So this is the PID number, which means that uh, Trinity is a computer. There is a computer inside who controls the whole power, and we need to adjust it. As I say, uh, at the beginning, the, there is a default when you buy Trinity, and the powers are a little very strong. I was scared at the beginning when I tried to balance or put a different camera, a different setup, and I start feeling the vibration. Um, I get scared. I start calling Kurt, uh, Ari. They explain me uh, about the Trinity, how it works. Uh, with, the, with the years, I start playing a little bit with the PID, and I found a combination of numbers, which uh, I'm going to share it with you. Is P roll P2 I 0 0.05 D6. In the teal is P Terry I 0 0.06 D45. So this is the combination I have it from the last almost three years that I start playing around and I found these numbers really, really good. So let's start from the top. Let me show you where to connect the cable. I'm gonna take it off. Disconnect everything. Now, what is the, the good and bad things about this? Is that you need a PC. You cannot use your Mac. I know most of us have a Mac, I have a Mac too, but for getting the system, you need a PC. So buy a PC, a PC laptop, you need this cable, this adapter, USB, that you can see it next to the Trinity is the only place that you can connect it. So we're gonna connect it here. Once it's plugged on the computer, you will have to download this application that you will find it on ARRI, Format Control. You can go to ARRI website about Trinity PID numbers mm -hmm. and set up and you will find it out. There is two files to download from that web website. So download it, put it in your, in your computer, and once you connect it, we open it. I'm not close enough. It's okay. <laughs> the angle of the camera is okay? The, the yeah. monitor? Okay. So let's keep going. Now you get click and connect. It's finding and we have it there. Now Many of you will have different, you won't have this number, you will have another number. It's because you have to go to settings, and I change to advanced. You will have it in a standard. So normally you will have this, four and three. So you have to change, you have to go to settings, change this part standard to advanced, and once it's at advanced, you go to profile, and you have this set up here. The numbers are going to be different. Maybe your eye is going to be different. So you can try my numbers, see how it works with the setup that you're doing it. If you have to change the vibration, uh, if you feel some vibration, you need to change the P and the D. The I, try to avoid to touch it. Just keep it what you have in that moment. So you have to play with the P and the D. Now, let's do an example when we're gonna change, so you will understand what is the vibration that you might have in the future. For change the numbers, right now the setup is one. Please avoid to click here. You have to go to all profiles. So you click all profiles, and once you click all profiles, then you can change the PID. Otherwise, you're gonna change only one setup. If you change the profile mode, when you change on Trinity, it's going to have vibration, the other ones and the first one, no. So it's better to keep all profiles, and then we change. So let's make an example. Let's put the power stronger. So let's put 12. That's 21. That's too strong. But anyway, let's see. OK. And uh, let's put this one. Let's keep a 6. Let's see what happens. So, I'm gonna, I'm putting a lot of power. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm scared what's gonna happen. So <laughs> let's go 16, okay. Now, once you change the number, go to write to device here. Now it's gonna write to device. 
and the Trinity is going to start moving a little bit. Now it's supposed to change. Let's see if it's going to have some problems. We're going to find it out when we tilt. So far, it's OK. Actually, maybe you cannot hear it, but there is already like a low frequency lead of it. So it's not shaky. The image is going to be OK. But you're going you're gonna to feel the motor a little bit, uh, a little sound that we try to avoid. So let me try to make more power so we can see the, the tilt. Let's change the tilt to 60. Let's be stream. 60 here, right to all device. Now the Trinity is adjusting again. I don't think you can, f I can feel it, but it's no big noise. So let's try to make a big noise. Uh, let's change this. Let's go to two. Let's go to eighty. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's changing. Let's see how what's happened. The trick is right now is on the stand. Okay, here is the, in this angle there is vibration. When you are putting on the stand here, you will feel the, the Trinity will be, be more sensitive to the power. Let's give more power to find the wrong thing to do. Let's go there. Okay. Check out the Trinity. I'm gonna write in. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> I ho I think you can feel it. Let's see. This is what's gonna happen. Obviously, not that strong. Let's go back to the floor. before breaking it. Do, 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 do. Okay, that was an extreme <laughs> example, but you got the idea. So when you're doing the Trinity, maybe you will have a little bit less noise than this. That means your power is too high. Um, so you have try my numbers. I recommend it because I share it with different people, different operators. All of them are happy. Some of them have to adjust maybe one more power up or a little bit less. But that's, I think that's the neutral that you can use for finding your own numbers. Um, one rule about the PID is that the P have to be lower than the D. So if you change the P, you have to make higher the D, either for the roll or the tilt. So let me check what was my number again, because I forget. I did a picture before we start playing. So my number was 2. The other one was six. Here was thirty. And here was forty five. Perfect. Now we save it right to device. Okay, my Trinity is back to normal, how I like it. There is no problem. And we're happy. So come back, please, to the PID again. I'm going to repeat it. The distance between P and D is, in the first one, is a little bit, 4. It could be different of 2, but it's, I try to keep a 4. So if you change to P3, uh, you can keep the 6, or you can go to 7. So try to make always a gap between the P and the D, either with a roll, either with a TL2. So here is Terry. 45. The rules in the manual that I shared to you on the website of Ari say is 5, 
but I make the gap a little bit more bigger. I make 15. You can keep it 10 if you want. You need to try it. You need to play with the Trinity, feel what is the right power uh, between roll and till, and you, call and you will understand. Uh, so this is the, the PID. Um, I think it's very clear. Let me disconnect. And I'm gonna show one more thing about the, the Trinity that you need to pay attention that you remember now. So let's disconnect this. Let's go back to normal. Now, Faye, I don't know if you can do a close up here, but it will be important to, let me go a little bit more lower, so help you. I need you to do the, the monitor. Hold on. Yeah. You can see it? Okay. So when you change location or when you travel it, before go to the PID, something that you should need to check, if you feel that there is a drift or something, you go, okay, you go to, uh, we have joystick, which depends on what hands you have. For me, it's normal. I think if you are goofy, you can change it to invert. So you can use the other hand and play with that. We go to calibrate the motors. So you have any problems with the drift of the Trinity, if I start moving a little bit without you want it to move or small uh, vibration, the first thing you can try to do is this. Go to calibrate, calibration, press OK, and we go with the zero. So let's try to put the Trinity in the right position. Now it's in the right position. Uh, profile one, calibration, and we put zero. A star, yes. Now it's gonna blink, don't touch the Trinity, make, make sure that it's on level. And the calibration of the zero is okay. Then, if you still have some problems, you can go to camera account, press yes, it's gonna blink, and that's it. That's what you need to do. Now, if you have problem again, then you go to the PID. If the problem, problem continue, then it's a bad news, you have to call the service. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it, I have to be there. So these are the two things to make sure. Obviously, like I told you before, make sure that everything is well closed, tidied up well. That's the first thing you have to check. Battery, cables, camera, screws, everything has to be very tight. After that, you can do what I show you about the, the menu. After that, you can play with the PID. Those three things will help you to find what is the problem with the vibration and try to avoid it. So this is the PID. This is the problem with uh, the vibration. Hope it could help you to fix some problems if you have it. I hope you don't have it. But in case you have it, you have three solutions to check it out. Let's go to the next video. Last part, accessories. Okay, so after doing everything, uh, there's many things I've been talking what I'm gonna show and what I need to do balance. So let's say for something that I was mentioned before, um, if you have to make really high mode or low mode and you need to add this one, this one is helpful. At the beginning I have two because uh, when you add something in the top, you have to add something in the bottom. So that makes a super sled. Now, uh, I'll make this contour weight. So you can add only one in the top, and you can put the contour weight in the bottom. I got two, <laughs> because sometimes it have to be really high or really low. So even I put three batteries or heavy batteries, I still need to contour weight the, the balance, and I don't want to make it too long. So I put two of these and this one. I connect it here, and this one go in the bottom. So this is one of the things, if you think you're gonna do the super sled, you will need this, and you have to control your PID. So make sure to have this. Um, the plates, this is the plate that you normally have for Trinity, is the normal one. It's useful, but uh, if you're gonna use mini, it's better to have the SAM2, the one that I showed you at the beginning, 
Sam 2 is the best play for Mini Ari. Now, there is um, an accessory that uh, a Trinity operator in China, Botai, made. This is an adapter. I'm going to leave the link information in the video or how to contact him. He did this really nice plate, which help if you need to use the Sony or the RED. So what happened? You put this one on between the camera and the sled uh, and the and the plate. This one will go between. Let's think that this one is a Sony or a RED. You put this one on, on between them, and you are able to use the same plate with this one and the camera on Trinity. If you don't have those two combinations, you will have to use the original play, and it's going to complicate your life because you won't have much option to move back and forward. With the sun play too, and this, this play that Botai did is very simple, very easy, and you will be really fast on set. Other toy that he created, a very genius guy, he created this. This is the first version which uh, I still have it, and I like it, because even he made the second version, this version is really nice because it's an L. So normally, when you put it in the back of the, of the Mini, it goes like this. So this one helps you for the situation that we talked about before, when you have a very he heavy lens, and you cannot push the camera back, and you still need to do the counterweight. Then you put this one on the back of the plate, and you have these little donuts. We have two different sizes, a lighter one and a heavy one. I'm going to use the heavy one, just it looks bigger on the, on the screen. So once you attach this one, you can choose or put it in the bottom or by the side. So it helps you to, to bring the camera in the middle without bringing all the back or because the motors of the focus touch in the ring. So you need more wake in the back, and this one will help you. Now, why this one is the first version and he make a second version? Because with the Mini, sometimes you pull all the camera back. This one touch the car, and you cannot open the car. So for normal Mini, the car, the car change is here in the back. You cannot change it. So he did the second version which is separate. So if you need the L, you still can have the L. You attach here. And you can put more weight in the back. Otherwise, you separate. You still put it in the back. And the weight, you can put it here. So it's really simple and it's really helpful. If you have a bigger lens with mat box and everything and you still need more weight than buy a second weight or in my case I buy another one because it was really heavy job one of these days so I have that I attach here and I fill out the with different weight now when you do this be careful because try to avoid always a small space this one maybe is too high because yesterday I worked but uh, try to be a little bit more closer, but when you add the L, you see, I still have a space to move around. So it won't, uh, it will help me to keep doing Trinity around. So this is one of the tools that I have with me, and it's something that you must have it if you, if you don't know what is going to happen next week, what shooting you're going to do, what lens you're going to do. These accessories really helped me a lot. Now we got on the top of the Trinity, we have this, which I have two of them. This one is new, I didn't use it yet, but when I needed it, I didn't have it, so I decided to, to have it. And soon, I really don't want to use it, but in case I, 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 I will have the option to use it or not. This one goes to the top of the Trinity. Let me turn around. So let me show you a little bit. OK. I don't know how much the zoom you can do, but OK. This, this is go here. 
they make. This is new accessory that Ari made. Here, as you see, you have many options to hold the cine tape, to hold the motors of the focus system that whatever you have. So you have many options that you can come here. In that way, you can move the ring and this one will be fixed together with the rig. So this is something that is, I recommend you to have it. You never know what's gonna happen, if you're gonna have cine tape or not, or like I told you, it's better to know before the shooting but this one will save you, your life in some situations that you don't know exactly what's gonna happen. So let's go back. Now, why I, have, why I have two? One, I leave it on the top, and this one comes with a package which is new this year. And when I need it, I didn't have it. Now I have it, and I'm not using it, but I know soon I'm gonna use it. This one go to the plate. This one go, Always the SAM2, we're talking with the SAM2. You go with the SAM2, you attach it here. And what gonna bring this? You, hear? you attach here. With this, you're gonna have this accessory. This accessory is gonna bring, stay here, this. Which you're gonna have a 15 row coming out. Why you need a 15 row coming out? because maybe you have a zoom lens that you need to put the support. Maybe you have uh, a macro 65 uh, cook anamorphic and they need that base to hold the lens. You have a wide lens um, Panavision and you need to hold the, the lens. So you attach these two, you put the rods and with this, from this side, you can hold the lens. So this is a, a setup of three to go together. And I really hope you don't use it because that means the Trinity is gonna be really heavy and it's gonna be really difficult to, to do some movement. In case you need to do it, you have it. So it will help you a lot. Before the first years, I, I couldn't use some lenses because I didn't have this. Now I have it and I'm waiting for the opportunity to use it. I have it in my package. This is also good. Another thing is the, the road. Try to have your, your road lighter. Like you can see here, I have two different ones. One a little bit longer, one a little bit shorter. Or, or both of them are lightweight. You have to make the setup of the camera the lightest thing as possible. Talk with your camera assistant, talk with ADP, try to set up the accessories that you need. If you don't, I recommend you to buy it to have your own setup uh, about the focus system. It's better you talk with, um, with the focus puller. If you can have a small motors, that would be great. If not, for some reasons, they need to use the, the old ones or the big ones. That's why you have the top here to put the motors here and you can get power from the camera or from the Trinity power here. We're gonna talk about the cables very soon. So that's what I recommend you. What else I have here? Yeah, this little toy. This one was from the first years and it saved my life. I did a job in Hong Kong. Uh, we shoot with the film camera, the Arriflex 416. And we didn't have, I didn't have this bracket that is new. So luckily I get it from Sebastian, the Trinity operator in UK. I'm gonna leave the link also in case you want it. This one was attached here. So what this, this was here is to bring a road here, and here I assembled the motor for the Focus, which was save, saved my life, because with that camera, I couldn't put it in any other part. Putting it here with the motors, it was the best solution. It keep everything in balance, and I was able to do that shot uh, without problems. It was heavy, yes, but the, I was able to bring the shot, able to make the camera there. So this is a, I just keep it for memory because it was, it saved my life. I changed it with a new version of Ari, but still this is a very inconvenient. It's, you can find it, you can talk with Sebastian. I'm gonna leave the link about him. He have also other accessories that he made. He's a very genius guy also, so 
This is from him. And I have things that I get it from the Steadicam that I keep bringing around. This is for the matte box, if we need to put something, extension or something. So as I said before, I was a Steadicam operator, so I have different accessories that I keep with me, and I keep taking it to Trinity in case there is some uh, scammer setup that I need to use. So I have even more accessories, but I'm going to show you just what you need. This is the sound play one. This is uh, in case you need kind of broadcast camera. I didn't use it. I think I used it once only, but you know, if you don't have it, you're going to cry about it. I have it. I use it once. It was good. And I keep carrying it with me. So, so far is the sound tool that I'm using all the time with this adapter for the Sony and from the RED. That's the part of the accessory, something very useful that you need to have, and I have here, cables. Okay, my assistant helped me to make this cable. This is really useful. You can take the power from the Trinity. Focus power is right in here. So you take the power from Trinity with this Lemo, and then you can give power to any accessory that they need on the film, on the production that you need. In that way, because there is no battery on, on the camera, because Trinity, the camera is taking power from the Trinity, the Trinity can also provide this power. So it's better you make your own cable. Uh, right now, I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if Arim did it, made it yet, but this is like three years ago. I need it and I made it, so you can make your own if you want it, or you can buy an uh, original one if it's there. Uh, you can put it there and you can give power to any accessory that you need. This you will need it sooner or later, so it's something that you must have. This is also a cable that we made with my assistant. This is for the Sony, it's right on <laughs> Sony. <laughs> So you don't have to put the battery there because now there is cable for Sony. This year they made it. But when I needed a couple of years ago, I didn't have it. Same thing, you take the power from here and put it on the camera. You must have the cables. Try to avoid to put too much weight on the Trinity. So to get power to the camera, try to get all the cables that you need. That's why you need to ask what camera they're going to use. I have red power. XXT power, and I think I have even Phantom. Yeah, I have the Phantom. We made the Phantom. I shoot with the Phantom once. So, recommend you do your own cable, buy the cables. It's going to save your life. Your body is going to say thank you because otherwise you're going to have to put the, pa the battery there, counterweight everything, so it's going to be super heavy. Get cables. Please, power cables. Um, what else I have here? I have extra, extra cables, like always in case. Make your own, buy your own, short one, lighter, take with you. Something that it happened the first year when I was doing Trinity is this video cable that Trinity has is, was really sensitive. We didn't pay attention. That's why I, from that day, I put this uh, attachment on the gimbal. If you don't have this attachment to the gimbal, what happened? The cable is going to dance around the Trinity like this. You see, you have all this cable dancing around. So what happened? If you pass, you're playing in the forest or something, or the actor do some movement, they're going to do this. And by doing this, it's going to pull the cable. And it's going to be painful because that cable is really expensive because it came all together. They didn't separate. I don't know why, but they make the cable together. So I tried to make it shorter, far away from the actor. So it's safe there. If something happens, it's stuck there. So that's why I recommend you to have this thing. Because of that situation, now I have an extra cable just in case. I hope don't have another problem like that. It happens, I have a backup. So I recommend you to have a backup because if everything works, but this little cable is not working, you won't have signal in your monitor. 
and you won't be able to do the framing of move around. So have an extra one just in case. About the cable is that then I have so many cables, but uh, this from, like I say, it's from Steadicam uh, cables, so LVAS and everything. You really should have your own things. I won't go in detail with that. Other thing about that, um, questions about what brand I use for protection. I try different ones. I like the LP. Is uh, I feel really comfortable with this brand. It's already many years I'm using it. As I said before, uh, from Aesthetican, I've been using it and I keep using it. I feel better when I use it. When I take it off after work, my body is not in pain. Obviously, you need to train. You need to take care of yourself. I take care of my back, too. We talk about this. The gloves. The camera I use is the Insta1. Um, this is the arm I'm using. Is the Ari, Ari vest that comes with Trinity. That's what I use. Uh, they asked me what Segway I use. Give me a second, I'm gonna bring it. Hey, you so this is the, um, the Segway that I use most of the videos that you see because it's very light, it's very small and allow me to be in different places. So this is the brand. There is no, the rental house here have a couple of them. So it's very easy to, to, to use it. Uh, no, I don't want <laughs> No, I don't, I, they, they see, you wanna see, I have my videos. <laughs> you can see it. There is a big one. Uh, the professional one, which is, uh, is, is better, is more stable, I recommend that one too. But there is some moments, some location that we cannot use the, the big one. So I train myself to use uh, the, the small one. I'm 68 kilos plus the Trinity. Uh, last time we weighed all together is like 110 kilos all together and I was able to, to use the Segway with no problem. Please make sure, I don't recommend you to use it. I'm just telling you, I use it. It's not a professional one, but it's how I'm able to do some shots. So be careful, do a scouting, check first, uh, play with the Segway first, see if the environment is okay, and if you feel it to do with the Trinity, you are welcome to try it. Uh, I'm not pushing you to, to do it. Um, I'm just trying to answer the questions about the Segway. So this is one of the one I use. When I have the opportunity to use the big one, I use the big one. So there is no, there is no preference about it. So I think I was able to answer most of the questions that I have these days. Thank you for sending all the questions. Thank you for asking. I'm really busy <laughs> working locally here in China. Uh, the situation is getting better. I hope everybody is getting better soon, uh, be able to be on set. Now you have more information about the Trinity. Now you can practice, you can try the PID, you can search for the cables. I think you have enough information and time to make your own package and be able to be ready for the shooting. I wanna say thank you to Andy Rento, who allowed us to be in their place, give us the camera, the equipment, uh, the assistants. Wanna thank uh, Faye, who is operating here. A last minute call, we, create, we have a, a crew. Miss uh, one who have for the sound. We have the boom, we <laughs> over there we have a small crew. Bibi, who helped me to organize everything uh, at last minute. The assistant here for the crew, for the lighting. They are amazing. <laughs> we have, we, we make a really cool, cool crew in really small time and I'm really thankful for that. I hope everybody uh, are happy with the information. Hope it could be helpful for each of you. Um, like I said, and I need to say it again, this video is uh, no profit. There is no sponsor of this. So if I mention some brands, is the brands that I use, is my, personal preference, there is nothing uh, behind that. 
So you can able to, to change whatever you want. This is how I work. This is what I use in every shooting that I, that I, that I do during my work. So thank you again. Um, hope you like it. And I will see your comments. And maybe next year, if everything goes well, we'll be able to meet one-on-one -on -one in some master class that hopefully we can start organizing uh, by next year. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>